Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today we have the last, yet potentially the most exciting review video yet, where we will be reviewing this 1 watt laser. Quickly before starting the actual video, I would as always like to thank our sponsor, PyroCreations.com for this video. They were generous enough to send me this 1 watt laser to review and show you guys. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, their website is pyrocreations.com. I will put the link in the top line of the description down below. And today they have sent me this 1 watt laser pointer, as you can see right here. I don't know if they sell this exact one on their website currently, but they have definitely a 3 watt laser and even more powerful units available. But in today's video, we are going to be reviewing and testing this 1 watt laser. So in front of me here is everything that came in the kit with the laser. I will quickly go over everything that came in the kit. So we have these red safety goggles. These are special safety goggles to be worn when using a high power laser pointer such as this one to prevent eye damage of course. There is an instruction manual which I will not go through just because it is very long. But it pretty much tells you about your laser, how to build it and safety precautions. And before we get to the laser, really quickly, it also comes with this simple, easy, little rechargeable battery station, as this comes with two rechargeable batteries. Now for the laser unit itself, it comes disassembled, as it is probably a safety concern that you can't ship a weapon, which this may be deemed as due to its power and danger level. So it comes in about three or four different pieces and the instructions tell you how to put it together but if you're intuitive at all it's really not that hard. You just screw the back half on, screw on the lens and that's pretty much it. And the, out, and the instructions pretty much also outlines just some safety precautions. Never over tighten the lens. Don't let it run for more than 30 seconds at a time. Always wear eye protection. Make sure not to point it in the sky at cars, etc. And keep out of the cold and heat. Just all the basic stuff to keep your mind out for. And that is all the safety precautions. So let's get to the laser. So here is the actual unit itself. Before we get to any testing, I would like to just go over the aesthetics and the feel of the laser. Which I would like to right off the bat say it is amazing. I don't think there is a single piece of plastic with the exception of the rubber button which I guess we can start with. The on off switch is a nice green really soft rubber button. It is amazing to push, it makes that nice audible click sound. And other than that, like I just said, the entire shell, it looks like it's made out of fully anodized or painted aluminum. It is obviously black which makes it look amazing. It has a nice little grip, which gives it a nicer feel when you're holding onto it, as well as just these random cutouts, divots, chamfers, and rads, just to give it that kind of military or aggressive look to it, which as you can tell, I think it did a very good job of doing. Then of course we have the lens, and I should start out, start out by saying I am no len or lens or laser expert, so, I don't know too much about these things, but I know enough to get by. So here is the lens, and back here is the actual laser unit itself. And that is one thing that you have to screw in when assembling. And this little piece that sticks out here is the focal adjustment. So you can see when we get to the testing that, depending on how far away you are from your target, you're going to want to adjust that to make sure it is as powerful as possible. And aside from that, there is not too much to talk about about the body of the unit. You can unscrew it over here to take out the lens. And if you unscrew it in the middle, that is where you access your batteries. And I guess I can show you that really quickly. There's a nice seal to keep your batteries protected from the elements. And these are the batteries it uses. There's two 3.7 volt lithium ion that come with the laser. They even came with a little bit of charge in them. But it's always a good idea to charge up the batteries before using just to make sure you don't wear down the laser prematurely. 
So, I think that was as good of a comprehensive review as I can give. So time to get to the fun part, the testing. So for the testing, there's a few different things I'm gonna be doing in today's video, but to keep the video short, this time around, as I'm sure you'll see the laser again, I'm only gonna be doing a few different targets, but please comment down below of what you would like to see me burn, explode, or pop, etc. with this laser, and I'm gonna make a whole nother video of just testing quick clips of random items. So for today, I have just a regular distance test, some balloons, some firecrackers, and we're gonna go outside and see just how far I can shoot. So let's start with outside. Here we are outside. As you can tell, it is very dark, so it is perfect for testing our laser. So, like I said before, just make sure you don't point up in the sky just in case there's an airplane, and make sure where you're pointing, there's no road in the background. Luckily, I live in the middle of nowhere, so we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And I will admit it is very hard to capture this on camera, but I'm gonna focus it. You can even see the beam getting a little smaller there. And there you go. There's a car right there. There's another car right there. And it is hard to get a good idea of distance. There's the driveway going up into the Neverlands but this will pretty much point as far as it can hit stuff with. So, I'm gonna stop the outdoor test around here because it is kinda hard to see just how awesome this is, but it is really cool to see the laser beam, and I'm glad you can actually see it on camera. It is a purple laser and it looks very sweet. Let's get the popping stuff. Now, time for the fun targets. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and put on my red safety goggles to prevent any burning of my eyes. And let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and sight it in, per se, on the box. That looks pretty good. And let's see if we can pop some balloons. Oh, that one just burned a hole in it. Let's try this one. These balloons don't pop, they just deflate. Ah, there's one. I kid you not, that balloon has a hole in it, it is just deflating. Let me get some better balloons. Okay, let's try again with some balloons that have a bit more air in them. I'm also a little further back, I'm gonna go behind the camera. Here we go. There we go. Uh oh. So push that away. The darker color ones go a lot faster since they absorb the laser lights really easily. And now we're just burning that balloon over there. Now this here is a box full of firecrackers. Let's see if we can light some fuses on fire. It's hard to aim it. Let me get a slightly better camera angle. Alright, here we go. Fuses take two. I'm smoking. There, there it goes. Let's do a long one right here. There we go. Got it on fire. Of course it doesn't blow up. One more. All right, that's really loud. I'm gonna stop that now, but you get the idea. Okay, everybody, so there is the laser pointer in the mess it made. So I only get a few tests in today's video, but I hope you guys got a good idea of just how powerful this awesome one watt laser is. I would definitely recommend it as a Christmas present as we are fastly approaching Christmas. Please go check out pyrocreations.com. And like I said before, comment down below what you wanna see me burn with this in a future video. So thanks for watching everyone. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.